Hi guys, Dave and Texas here, and what you're looking at are the care package I got from TV Jones for that white Gretsch you keep asking about. <laughs> oh, I'll be happy when the thing's finished. Anyway, uh, if I can fight that little green demon that's in that thing, right? Oh yeah, and I found out it's not really a demon, it's an iguana <laughs> living inside that. Especially when my, my blood medication is not working real well, I see green iguanas coming out of the Gretsch. No, <laughs> it's really a green demon, little devil. Anyway, what you're looking at are a set of uh, TV Jones Magnetrons. Yeah, yay! <laughs> they finally get here, and when I open them up... Um, some things came to mind, like, uh, you know, these things uh, made by TV Jones, they go the old school style with their uh, pickup covers, well, as well as their pickups, too. Uh, they're absolutely heavy as hell. And one of the slight reasons for that is that they use, that's what I've told when I've read some places, they use the old method of uh, plating, of gold plating, these uh, th their pickups. You see this? I mean, that's absolutely beautiful. It's almost like jewelry, for goodness sakes. You got it? Look at that. Wow. And they last for years and years and years, I'm told, before they start turning. All right. A little cleaned up. Screws and uh, springs that come with it, right? This is the uh, mm, bridge pup, I believe. I'll show it to you in a minute. But uh, here's what I mean by turning. So you can see this or not on this uh, video. See that top right corner looks almost silver? Well, that's because this uh, uh, gold colored uh, pickup is turning, okay? It's going to turn kind of a darker gold, and then when you brush it off or wipe it off, uh, it becomes lighter and lighter until almost silver and all the plating's off of it. Follow me? So if you're looking for a fake, that's the first place to look. See that pup turning? Well, <laughs> the better ones don't do that. Now, Gibson, even the gold ones on those, will turn, but after five or six years. TV Jones, I'm told, 10, 15, 20. Some of them even better than that if you take care of them. Keep your hand oils off of them, right? Wipe them down once you use them or touch them. And these are absolutely stunning pups. These are the magnetrons. Let me show it to you real quick. And what's really cool about this, guys, right? Look at this. This is the bridge pup. Is that these are fours and sixes, not tens, twelves, fifteens, because it's not a rock, you know, uh, guitar. It's a jazz guitar, and we don't want heavy distortion. You got me? And what's really nice about this, it comes with that four wire if you want it. See those green and blue? Or they've heat shrunk it when you just use the two leads and just set it up simply. All right? Your choice. You want to split it, do whatever you want to with it. There it is. Your choice. Okay? Nice. Now, I know I'm going to get some uh, letters and emails and stuff in from you guys complaining about what I bought for this guitar. And trust me, I tried this fake Epiphone. Right, that I had. It was one of the better fakes I had. Right? This is a fake Epiphone from China. It's 11.5, and it's just too heavy distorted. It's great for a rock, you know, um, pup. And I've actually potted this myself. You can see where I've opened it up on the uh, solder spots. I've popped those open and uh, uh, potted it. But the problem is, it doesn't do that clear tone that you want, that fat, jazzy tone that you want from a Gretsch, right? That's what you want with a Gretsch. You don't want, you know, uh, uh, it sound like a solid body, which is what this made it sound like. It made it sound like a Les Paul, basically. And that's why I was so disappointed, you know, with it to begin with. But these pickups, right? And here's where I'm gonna get the letters. About 150 a piece. These are the English mounts, right? And this whole shooting match I got here, um, these risers, what they call them for the English mounts, right? They're gold. Uh, to make it fit a, uh, uh, you know, humbucker's hole. And these gold uh, tuning knobs, which are Gretsch. And these things are heavy as can be. It's like, wow. Even being solid metal, they're heavy. I didn't think about it. These are really heavy. It's about a pound and a half. And uh, these two 
have that uh, old style uh, plating for gold, 14 karat gold, that makes them so darn expensive. These are like 70 bucks for a set of these, right? Gold little knob for five bucks. Even the darn gold knobs are expensive. So anyway, guys, I spent for the pups, the risers, uh, some extra screws, uh, the knobs, uh, the uh, nut, all that stuff so far, uh, about uh, um, $400. And yeah, that's a lot of money for these fake guitars, considering it probably cost three fifty dollars if I had bought it. Uh, hmm. I put on a pair, a set of uh, Ping uh, um, tuners. That was 65 plus tax. And uh, what else have I done to it? Well, once I put on a new pick guard, a new truss rod cover, and uh, uh, filed the frets on some of it, uh, replaced the pots, the caps, all that good stuff, you know, everything replaced on it. It's probably going to be around 650 you know? That's probably a good guesstimate on the price of these parts. And 350 for the guitar. So they're looking at 1000 bucks, you know? And I could have bought a uh, uh, electromagnetic for like 900 so if you buy these Gretches, these fake Gretches, guys, be aware to make it sound and play like it's supposed to play, uh, sound and play. It's going to cost you a lot of darn money. Much more than the electromagnetic cost that has these pups on. They have, well, I'm not, I'm, they're not the Magnetrons, but they're TV Jones, you know, or Gretsch pups, right? I think you pay extra for the Magnetrons, like uh, maybe a thousand bucks. But at least it's real. <laughs> I mean, you can actually go out and sell it again if you don't like it. But, uh, you know, go figure, people. Anyway, to try to get away with putting on cheap uh, pickups on that guitar, it's just not going to work. It's not going to sound right. And that's not what these were meant for. It's a big, thick, heavy, big body jazz guitar. And this, along with some Gibson pots, is going to make it sound that way. Okay? Now, for all you guys writing in asking me about these bridges for these guitars, I still recommend the Wilkerson Roller Bridge, right? And you can get these in different sizes, I understand. You can get them to fit the American-made or the Chinese-made. But since there are 10 factories that I know of in China that make these uh, fake Chinese guitars, especially the Les Pauls, maybe even more that uh, make those, you really do need to measure. Get a caliper and measure it whole center to whole center, and then tell me what you know what that measurement is. I'll tell you what size uh, and what model of um, you know roller bridge to buy, because otherwise I'm kind of just guessing in the dark. You get me? Uh, just to you know write me up. I don't mind you writing me, but uh, usually I have to tell you I don't know because I don't have a measurement. And for you to order something in the in you know in the, out of the dark and out of the blue, good luck, buddy. <laughs> you might as well order three of them just to make sure you got at least one that's right. Anyhow, any questions about this or anything else about these fake guitars? Uh, give me a holler. Uh, I should have the TV Jones and the Gretsch fixed up here in a few days for your listening enjoyment <laughs> and for my consternation for spending so much on this fake guitar. <laughs> So you guys can hear what one sounds like if you decide to do it yourself. <laughs> oh, man. And again, I suggest you don't. But uh, if you've already bought one and you just have to have it sound like a, like a real Gretsch, uh, this will do it. And it's going to cost you a few bucks. Now, no, you don't have to buy the knobs and the covers and the pit guard stuff and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to buy all that. That's not necessary. You can just use whatever you got. But uh, you want to look, play, and sound like one? It's going to cost you some money, right? Dave and Texas, have a good one. Bye.